All right, welcome in YouTube. As you can see, we finished the KCP domination grind. So we're gonna be going over, was it really worth it for me? And should you do it as well, right? So as you can see, he's a 94. If we look at his stats, he is 6'5". Uh, salary is only 2,500. So if you had to use him salary cap, you definitely could still have a good good team put around him. Driving lay, 84. Mid range, 92. Three point shot, 93. Driving dunk is an 80, ball handle 75, steel 90, perimeter defense 92, interior 82, speed 90, speed with ball 87, agility 92, vertical 84, stamina 92, hustle 98, pass perception 92, defensive con consistency 90, badges, he has 5 hall of fame badges as you can see, then he has 9, 13 badges amongst the gold silver and bronze you can definitely upgrade him as well and give him five more badges if you want but as you can see this is what my team's looking like right now after finishing domination with him and as you can see i have 300,000 mt and now is the fun part where i'm going to break down how much mt i made from doing this and should you do it as well okay as you know the games of domination took around 30 minutes to complete if you're not wasting timeouts you're not pausing the game you're not getting fouled a lot or fouling them the ball is not running out of bounds a lot off of turnovers or just bad shots and stuff like that and it's just off of made buckets you can get it done in 27 26 minutes depending on how good you are yada yada but let's just say 30 minutes or so roughly so it's 33 games because it's 30 teams you're gonna play five in each uh division then you have the last three so that's 33 games right 33 games plus 30 minutes it takes you to do all of that equals 16 and a half hours give or take a couple minutes, right? So if you look at it like that, this came out a week ago. So as I did, I did two and a half hours a day. So instead of playing salary cap or uh, showdown, I just played five games of this. And then what about my day after work, right? So what I did, it was, I would just start every day. I played team A through E one day. And the next day I'd play the next five, next five, next five, next five. Cause sitting here doing 16 hours straight, obviously is insane. And if you did that, cool. Some people got it done during the weekend. I personally didn't want to do that, so I just watched the TV show while I did it. But let's break down the money and how I have 300,000 MT right now, right? So as you can see, at, once you get to the five stars, you get the deluxe package, 10 stars, you get the shoe pack. Then you get 10,000 for every uh, conference once you get all 15 stars. So if you look at it, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, right? So that's six, that's 60,000 right there right off the bat, just for getting all the stars completed right there. And then once you get to 33 stars, you get an extra 15. So that's 75 MT guaranteed, right? And if you're like me and you win the games by 20, 30, you're shooting the lights out from three, yada, yada, you should get the max 2,500 as well for every game, which also that adds an extra 25 times 33 is um i didn't have the math in my head i wasn't thinking about it but 25 times 33 games that's an extra 82 right there right so we're at 75 mt 7500 mt plus 82 we're at 160 mt right there and i wasn't even at 100 mt when i started so we've just made 160 mt off of the mt we get from completing every star challenge we need and then the 2,500 max you get for every, every game you win, if you get a lot of uh, big scoring difference and all that stuff. But then also what you have to remember is you get a lot of shoe, uh, you get a lot of badges, right? So every five stars you get badges that you can just sell in the auction house, make money off of that. And then also every game you get the gold shoe, right? Which I haven't sold all of mine yet just because I forgot about it. But if we look at it right here, uh, where are the shoes? Shoes, shoes. Right. If you go to shoes, I still have all, I still have a lot of my gold shoes right here that I haven't sold yet or in auction. You can quick sell them for twenty five, two hundred and twenty five right there. So if you sell ten, that's a little over two thousand twenty three hundred ish. For so for thirty three games, you could make around six seven k off of that as well putting you at around 170 give or take or you could sell these in auction if people are buying them in auction i just quick sell them because that's just how it is but then you can also get if you get good badges out of this you can also get uh on ball menace i got a lot of those so i put those in auction 
was able to make five seven k off of doing stuff like that so you can make good amount good amount of change off of just doing this stuff so all in all once all i got all the mt that was guaranteed from the game wins and the stars plus selling my shoes and the badges that i was not going to use or that are going for a lot in the auction house i was able to make i want to say it was around 280 mt off of 16 hours because i had around 50 mt 50,000 MT before I started this, so I did make a good amount of change in 16 hours versus just playing Showdown and getting a thousand MT for winning games or not. And I'm not really you're not getting packs from Showdown till the end of the seven day period. So I do think getting a free KCP was a great W for me, especially since I am no money spent. You may not be no money spent, so you may not be you may have the MT just lying around and you could just grab um, I don't know his name. But you could just grab uh, Raji Bell. I lost my thought. He is basically the paid version of KCP. If you look at his stats, he's 6'5". Three-point shot is a 90. Driving lay, 84. Driving dunk, 85. Permanent defense, 92. Or 94. Steel, 92. Speed, 89. Speed with ball, 86. Agility, 95. Pass reception, 94. Defensive consistency, 95. Badges, five Hall of Fame badges, right? The only difference between him and KCP, he is Hall of Fame on Ball Menace. I have that badge already in my collection that I got from Finishing Domination, so I can add that badge to KCP if I want to, but I'll probably save that badge for somebody else I'd rather add it to. But Raji Bell is the paid version of him, if we're being honest, just a little less badges since he has eight gold and five Hall of Fame. I think he has three less than KCP and in the auction house right now, he is going for under 100k. So if you have the MT and you don't want your domination, say you're just making really good killing off of selling cards, you could buy him for around, I would say 75k probably is probably the highest I think you could people are gonna spend on this card. So if you don't want your domination, this is your safe bet if you want a quick three and three, quick three and D guy, my apologies, instead of doing the 16 and a half hours. I really don't regret what I did. I was able to watch some of the shows I haven't been able to watch in a while. I did watch the first couple stream screen movies I haven't seen yet. So I did that while I played the games. The games weren't really that hard. You're playing pro teams. They're just going to make some dumb shots. But I just ran my playbook, which was really easy for me because my plays are open three. So I just did that, hit my threes, and then I was able to do most of the NBA challenges. I've done 17 of the 30 right now so once i finish those 13 this weekend i will do a video opening all those hidden gem packs to show you what i get hopefully we get a couple rubies maybe a sapphire but i hope this video helped you just to show you if you want to do domination was it worth the grind i think so in my opinion off of the money i was able to make right i'm sitting at 300 300k mt right now especially with luka Doncic coming out tomorrow and other cards other cards will drop because of this so i'm probably able to upgrade my team for the better before king of the court this weekend because i don't hate my team i definitely do have a lot of diamonds now because i finished the battle pass and i got kcp and i got buddy healed as my grand prize as well so my team's not looking bad with a lot of diamonds amethyst and a ruby in ray allen but you never know who i can get from the auction house hope this video helped you do the grind for domination or saved you from doing the 16 hours if you think this is not worth your time but my name is saucy have a great day i'll see you in my next video peace